Short attention spans are an issue. I don't think I have to tell that to anyone. This video is basically just a bunch of loose thoughts, mainly existing because I feel like a lot of people don't take the issues that small attention spans come with seriously enough, especially in regards to art. I think that the biggest problem we have right now is that lots of art is created to be consumed while doing something else. It has a very simple structure that is easy to follow while playing a video game. Or watching someone else playing a video game. I think this is the case because a lot of media is aimed at the group that has the most free time in society, namely the children. What I mean by this is that a lot of modern movies are just not very fun to only watch. A good movie should challenge you, should make you think, whether that be by figuring out complex characters or by giving you cool moral complexes. The best movies are the most fun when just watched. The problem here is that for committing to a movie, you need to have a certain amount of trust in it. You have to trust in the fact that the scenes make sense, you have to trust in the fact that thinking about it while watching it is not a waste of time. When you watch a modern show like Family Guy, this is just an example, there's stuff that I like about the show but it's just a perfect way to show what I mean here, which is practically made to be consumed while doing something else. It doesn't matter if you don't pay attention to the show for a while because it's written with that in mind. The story arcs are very easy to follow and it feels like more than half the runtime is not committed to actually furthering the plot, but just to make silly out of context jokes, which is why I find it more entertaining to watch these Family Guy funny moments compilations than the actual show itself because it just takes away the annoying story that doesn't matter anyway. So what makes art, on this case, shows and movies worthwhile to me? Why not just laugh at 10 second clips with simple humor? It's fun and I can personally attest that you can spend an entire afternoon by just laying in bed and watching dumb shit. Well, the problem is that these quick dopamine bursts lose their appeal eventually. When doing this for too long, it becomes stale and boring, the days start flying by and you don't really do anything, it's basically like forwarding time. I like having an emotional response to art and these clips provide that in the simplest form, whether that be by having me laugh or showing me some super sad hashtag emotional story, but I don't take anything away from it. After an entire day of watching stuff like that, I'm just left with nothing. I might remember one or two things, but even those I probably forget within the next week. This sucks! There is just a limit to what sort of payoff you can make someone feel with one minute of runtime, and that is often not enough to make you really feel anything, but just enough to pass time. This means that you basically stun yourself in the day by making your brain feel kinda alright and then have horrible nights where you feel like you're doing nothing with your life and your father looks at the disappointment that he has to call some by law and wishes you were never born in the first place. I'm alright. But art can do so much more than that. I have so many fun memories of movie scenes that brought me a tremendous amount of joy. The thing is, to get these scenes, you have to watch the movie. And I don't just mean have it running in the background, I mean actually watching it, sitting down with a bit of food, trying to figure out what everyone is doing, or thinking or planning. Believe me, a good movie will reward you for it by actually making sense. The next part of the video will be almost exclusively about simping for the movie The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. If you don't want to watch that, I can understand. This was your warning. Holy shit, the emotional payoff of the last scene! The entire beginning of the movie, these two kinda hate each other and it's, it kinda sucks between them. But they grow together and the result is seen in the scene when not a single word between two is spoken. It just feels amazing, such a glorious end to an epic journey undermined by Ennio Morricone's beautiful music. If you haven't watched this movie, do yourself a favor and do so right fucking now. And stuff like this just... it just isn't possible unless you will, um, take your time. <laughs>